Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So listen, this table right here, I just finished waxing it and I'm letting it dry, but I am super, super excited about how it's turning out because I did a crackle finish on it and I've never done crackle finish, so I was really kind of stressing if it was going to work or not. So while I'm waiting for the wax to dry, I'm going to be trying to figure out if I want to um, and like do an antique glaze or just leave it the way it is. But if you want to see how I did the crackle finish, if you want to see the end result, then stick around and watch till the end. So the first thing that I do is I take the crackle finish and I apply it very generously because it says that you shouldn't overlap in coats. This stuff dried really fast. So I just kind of just spread it all over as you can see and did my best to not overlap. I did notice though that like I would get some bubbles. I don't know if you can see that in the video. I don't know if it's the brush I used, but it didn't affect my um, overall finish. Now my crackle is dry, so I'm going to take my paint, and I absolutely love this color. It's one of my favorites. I don't know if you can really see the, the color in the video, but it's like a minty color. It kind of reminds me of mint and chip ice cream. Okay, so when you're doing the crackle finish from what the directions say, is you apply one coat. You're not supposed to keep going back over the coats. You just do one like stripe at a time. So this stuff worked really fast. Can you guys see how it's already doing the crackle? I love it. I got super excited when I saw how fast it was doing and that it was working because I was nervous that it wasn't going to work. It was like a little kid in a candy store. <laughs> so I apply the paint all over the whole thing and the crackling just is amazing how quick it took place. Now on the top I had some of these pieces that I missed and I felt like you could kind of see where the, there were some strokes, some lines. I don't know if it was the paint overlapping just a little bit or because I couldn't smooth it out. So what I decided to do was just take the sandpaper to the entire piece and I just kept sanding until I got the desired look. And I also went over the edges on the bottom and just gave it a nice, good, distressed look. And 
now I'm taking clear wax and I'm going over the whole piece with it in a circular motion, wiping it back and forth. I'm just making sure that I get the whole entire piece covered really well. I usually don't use wax, but this was a small piece and I have wax and I want to use it up. So I decided to wax it. All right, so I decided to antique it. So I took one of my stencil brushes and I just took the dark antiquing wax and started spreading it. Now when you antique, you wanna make sure that you're getting in all the little nooks and crannies because that's what you want the wax to stay in when you start to wipe it away. It just really gives it that nice aged look. So I take a clean cloth and I just start rubbing back and forth. And with waxing, if you want it darker, you can wipe off just a little bit or you can wipe off as much as you want to make it lighter. But as you can see, one side's got the nice dark wax and the cracks and the other side doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wax this whole piece and then I will show you the end result. Here it is, all finished. Antiqued, crackled, sealed. I believe when you're doing crackling, I think if I did a thinner coat, my cracks wouldn't have been so small and so many, but I still love how it turned out. Absolutely in love. Okay guys, so I'm in my bathroom right now because it is really dark outside and the lighting in our house sucks. So this was the only place with decent lighting and the quietest place in the house. We have our neighbors are having some parties and so their music is really loud. So I apologize that I'm coming to you from my bathroom. But with that said, I really enjoyed doing today's project. I've never done crackle before. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I'm definitely gonna do that again. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought, if you've ever used it, did you like it? 
Do you have any tips for me on how to, to use Crackle Finish? I'm sure there's more than one way. I know there's several different products out there. I'll be sure to leave in the description box down below the products that I used today. Also, if you like these types of videos, please click the subscribe button. Make sure you click on the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It lets me know that you like these videos and to keep doing some more of these types of videos. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I'll leave those links down below also for you. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.